Hey folks, how you doing? Back again with another video. In this, we are going to create web for motor power under a minute. Some may say mesh, whatever it is. Let's get started. Here we are in Fusion 360. If you observe this motor, especially at the back cover, something is missing, isn't it? Yeah, you got it. There must be mesh for the fan which is underneath it. The conventional or traditional process for creating the mesh is to draw the sketch which gives us the exact profile but it is a time consuming process. We are going to use special feature called web to do that within no time. Alright, let's do that. To follow along download the model from description. Select the back cover to find where it is. It's in model frame and it is a linked component. To edit, just right click and choose open. This brings you to that particular linked component. Since we are working only on backer, I'm gonna activate that. Then I'll just isolate it. In that way, I can only see the cover. Since we'll be creating a mesh, I'm going to cut this portion from the part. Perfect. Just few more clicks. Then we'll be done, guys. Select the inside face for sketching. Then draw some lines, you can say pattern for your mesh. Now I'm just drawing a line on Y axis, then use pattern to duplicate them vertically. Increase number of instances to define the mesh quality. Repeat the same for drawing lines on Z axis. Use the manipulators to position as well as for increasing the number of instances. Oops, that's wrong direction. Yeah, this is perfect. We're done with the sketch, which is the hardest part, maybe. Let's enjoy the feast. Now, under create menu, select web. Select all the entities just by holding the left mouse button and dragging. Oh, we don't want this circle. Perfect. Increase the thickness. Let's say 2 mm. Nothing happened. This is because we disabled the bodies. Now you can see the mesh, which is created under a minute. Let's explore some options in here. If we disable extend curves, it only creates the bodies within the profile. If you flip the direction, the mesh depth will go in reverse. In this case, first one is fine for me. We can also define the depth as per your convenience. Let's change it to 2mm now. We can observe that it's not up to the top. For this, 5mm works good. If you are satisfied with the results, just click OK to take that mesh or web. Revert everything back, unisolate the component and activate the top level assembly. Just save the design. Then switch back to motor design. You see a warning saying that it's not up to date. Just click on that warning to update it. Perfect. Now that the mesh is applied to the design and it looks pretty good, isn't it? Hope you learned something new today. If you already knew this, maybe you're a Fusion 360 expert. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Wanna share your views? Let us know through comments. And subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you enable bell icon. In that way, you won't miss notifications from us. I think you love generative design. If you do so, then this video is probably for you. Would you like to learn more about automobiles? Then this video is probably for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in next week. Bye-bye.